It's guest interview time guest interview. Woo! with Lucas Shaw. Now you are the media and film reporter for The, the Wrap. Wrap. Now tell us, what is The Wrap? The Wrap is an entertainment news website. It's, uh, so it's online only other than some special issues we put out for Oscars and Emmys. We cover the film business, we cover the TV, TV business. I write about YouTube a lot. We write about Netflix, about Hulu. So some of it is something that anyone would want to read. It'll be you know, an interview with an actor, an interview with a director, a feature about a, a movie that's coming up. And some of it is really targeted towards people who care about like, the business and how deals get made, which is, oddly enough, the stuff that I like writing the most. Interesting. Cool. So a lot of people have the fear of missing up. When your business is to be up to date, how do you, how do you deal with Are you always like nervous that you're missing like the next story? Uh, like, so I, I'm not joking. When you were talking about Phil earlier, my heart jumped because I'm breaking a story about Phil that you sort of teased like in the next couple days. Oh, so that's his one new channel. Yeah, because I've okay. been, I, I mean, I've known about it for a few months, but I haven't been able to write about it. Um, so yeah, you're always afraid that like some news about something is going to come out. And especially now with Twitter, like I know I have a, I have a colleague who only writes about De kind of deals where a director is going to make this or an actor is going to be in this. And some directors now will break that news on Twitter and s to try and preempt reporters from writing it themselves. Mm -hmm. What do you do to ensure that you don't miss out? Uh, <laughs> you are He's so into this. I love it. I like it. <laughs> you are constantly in contact with your sources. So I mean, I'm on the phone or emailing with people 24 hours a day. And or if someone else writes about something, you're then calling all the people involved, trying to get something to advance it, to move it forward in some way. Tell me about sources. Now, what are these sources getting out of it? Is it just because they like to leak stuff? Do they get monetary compensation? Are these juicy people? Are these famous people? Everyone treats it differently. Sometimes they are using you, and like they want a story to be put out in a certain so way. So they're the They're source. trying to get a deal done, <laughs> and so they are you kind of using you as leverage. Sometimes they just like the idea of being in play. Um, sometimes, like what I really try and do is develop a relationship with the person so they know I'm just trying to tell a good story and r kind of write about the news. And so if they hear something, they would rather that I write about it than someone who's going to be really nasty or mean. Like I, we operate in a space right now where there are four different websites that kind of cover the same stuff. So one way or another, it's almost guaranteed to be written about somewhere. We want it to be on, on the wrap first. Wow. How would you get into all this? Uh, my dad was a journalist and my mom was an agent. No, I, I've, I've been a journalist since I was 15, and it just kind of happened that I'd been an intern at The Wrap. The first year it started, it's four years old now, and um, they kind of, I talked to them after I graduated from school. They were looking for a writer, and kind of since then, we've gone from, we've probably, in terms of staff, we've doubled in terms of like the number of people coming to our site. We just set a new record. Um, so kind of congratulations! Is, yeah. Right yeah, I like the rap. I like the rap a lot. What's your favorite aspect of being a reporter, a journalist? I have a question too. After <laughs> my favorite aspect, other than getting to see all the movies early, yes. um, so good. Is so jealous. <laughs> on, it's going to sound really cheesy, but the reason I love my job is that I learn every day. Like I get to meet new people and I learn new things every day, and then I get to tell other people about them. That's why I do it. Okay, Brie. What's the best movie of the year so far? Ooh, that's really tough. I just saw a movie this week that was great called Dallas Buyers Club uh, mm -hmm. that has Matthew McConaughey and Jared Leto, who's mm. amazing in it. Um, there's this French movie that's three hours long about a teenage girl who kind of just, of her process of discovering she's a lesbian called Blue is the Warmest Color. Mm -hmm. Wow. That won the top award at Cannes that's really good. And if you want to see just like technical virtuosity, go see Gravity. I didn't oh. love it, but you should go and see it and you have to pay to see it in 3D. Wow. All cool. right. Cool. Gosh, it was so great having you, you guys. Lucas Shaw of The Wrap. And you can go to therap.com. You can go to therap.com. You can follow shake your us. Head. You can Jeez. follow us on Twitter at The Wrap. And you can follow me on Twitter at Lucas underscore Shaw. All right. Thanks for being here. And thank you, everybody. We love you all. See you all next time on Pop Trigger. <laughs>